Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumberg Capital Logyard. In today's video, I will be running through the basics of operating the LT40 Woodmiser along with some tips and tricks that I have learned. I have Antonio with me here today, all the way from Vermont. He is also getting an LT40 and wants to get a feel for it. So I will be training him on the mill today. If you are interested, you can check out his channel, Vermonters. I will leave it in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing that I want to talk about is the lube miser. While this is an option, in my opinion, it is necessary. To add the lube miser onto the Super Hydraulic LT40, it costs an extra $795, but it is worth every dollar to lubricate the blade. Once you roll your log on, you will want to make sure that it is level. Most logs have taper, so you will want to utilize your rollers to level the log on your first cut. After making your first cut, you want to turn your log 180 degrees so that the flat side is on your mill bed. Be sure to lower any rollers that you raised, otherwise your cant will be uneven. This second cut sets the width of your board. Use the computer to set the dimension by pressing pattern and finding your width. You will want to save your most popular dimensions in the computer so that there is less manual work. Remember that if the bark side is down, then you use auto down, but if the flat side is down, then you use pattern cut. Same with the rollers. If the bark side is down, then you can use the rollers, but if the flat side is down, then no rollers. That sounds more confusing than it is. After cutting your width, say 10 inches, you will turn your log 90 degrees and cut the slab off. Push auto down just in case another cut is necessary to make a clear and barkless cant. When there is no more wane on this side, you will turn it to the last barky side. Use your pattern cut to set the thickness. We are cutting 1x10s here, so we will set the head to drop 1 inch at a time blade guide. Make sure that it is as close to the log as possible without actually touching it. This will ensure that your blade is stable and won't jump knots as easily. Board drawback. This has to be one of the more fragile and accident prone pieces on this machine. Keeping that in mind, it is also one of the major advantages of the LT40. The debarker protects the blade from hitting stones and other hard things that could damage the blade, therefore allowing the blade to last longer and dull slower. This was another option for this mill that I find completely necessary, with an additional price of $1,995. Carriage forward and reverse. I've always thought of this lever like it was a gear shifter. Forward is drive, center is neutral, and back is reverse. Carriage feed rate. If the carriage forward and reverse is like a gear shifter, then the carriage feed rate is like stepping on the gas. It's only going to go if it is in drive. Hopefully that was a good analogy.
the up and down switch. This allows you to move the head up and down. When you have the programming set for a certain thickness, all you have to do is bump the switch down and it will automatically drop to your desired thickness. Keep in mind that this machine likes to go fast. When you first begin, you might have trouble with the computer resetting itself. This is most likely because you are taking too much time at the other end of the log to pull back the board. If you are having trouble using the board drawback and are moving the head up and down too much, then the computer will reset itself because it thinks that there is something wrong. This mill can be extremely efficient when you know how to use it. As long as you are listening to your mill, you will get it with patience and practice. If you are interested in purchasing a wood miser and want to know all of the pros and cons, I would recommend watching this video right here.